Hey guys, very tired Taki Cat here. Level 70, literally just got to maps. First map we're gonna do. Icicle ma mines are amazing. Uh, Sab or Deadeye. I went Sab because I didn't know if I was gonna like the mines. I didn't Still know saying. if I was going to like Icicle mines. Icicle mines are amazing. And the new mines are just better traps. And um, I liked traps before. So these feel great to me. If you don't like traps before, then you might not like the new mind play style, but yeah, it's kind of absurd. It's also it's one of those things where, for the league mechanic in particular, it is busted. I've been going all the way through, zero issues, um, never failed the mechanic, haven't been using towers. People in my chat have been telling me they have been failing and like haven't used towers on uh, stuff like summoners and like pretty good league starts and everything. I am on a 5 link, I did get a 5 link drop to me, and I've got two Axioms, which also dropped to me. Um, but that's it. And um, otherwise, it's been fairly standard setup. I am fully uh, crit at this point, um, just because I thought, fuck it. And uh, this is the oh, first yeah. map one. Let's see what it's like with no towers and maps, just out of interest. We'll see how far we can go before we need to activate them. Also, if you didn't know, there's a like go now button that you can press, um, which starts you straight away. You don't need to wait around. Um, but yeah, so as for the dead eyes, it's like sad thing. So the sab is more well rounded. Um, it's going to be a much smoother lead start with zero gear, and um, it's also a lot more flexible if you want to try out other setups. Um, if you're committed to going uh, chain icicle, and like you're going to be playing it, you're in a trade league, and it's like this is the main thing you want to play. Then go Deadeye. Um, Deadeye will be great because of stuff like um, Gloom Fang, so on and so forth. So thanks for host for recording the video. Um, so yeah, it doesn't seem like you ever really need to use the towers. I'm slightly disappointed by the towers personally, just as an off point. The flight mechanic itself I've been enjoying, um, but they haven't felt at all necessary at any point. That's a really nice pickup. That's nice. Um, but yeah. Ooh, Kazus. That's kind of nice for SSF start. I'm just going to do that. That's my trash. Sick chance. Alright, so just up this map, and then I'll show you some tree stuff, and I can go pass out. I feel like, why is the life so low? Um, I haven't picked up like, any of my life nodes. I'm totally rooting towards Psalm life, and I'm also missing a bunch of life in the Ranger. Um, I'm looking at a 170 life tree with acro phase acro. I have op access to an additional 20% life if I need it. I up to 190 if I uh, trim some damage or trim some utility. I invest 5 points into uh, mana nodes and I also invest 3 points into reducing mine reservation. All of that can be trimmed. Um, in terms of reservations for spill, the skitter bots feel really great. One thing you can do, this is also just a handy trick for anyone who's doing um, icicle mines or any cold based mines. You can link bone chill to your skitter bots because they shock and they um, chill. And that gives you more cold damage onto your main ability. I tried using unbound ailments on them, but that didn't work for some reason. I just didn't support it. Um, I tried linking it with a bunch of the minion new stuff. Infernal Legion doesn't do anything. It does give them free MTX though. So you can equip it, they get the red fire, then you can take off and it's whatever. Um, giving them feeding frenzy doesn't seem to change anything about them. It just sort of exists. And um, this is what my tree looks like so far. So when I said I'm traveling towards life, you see I've got all of the scion life here to pick up. I've got these nodes to pick up, two life nodes here, and then these life nodes here. Um, herbalism is in very easy reach for me if I decide I want it. Um, these nodes you could drop. These nodes, to be honest, are great but you probably don't really need them if you've got a Pyromaniac. Um, these nodes are better than these nodes. Mind Throwing Speed is the main thing. Mind Throwing Speed is what makes everything feel smooth. Um, how I leveled this character, my first lab, I got Pyromaniac. Um, you could take any of these three, to be honest. It doesn't really matter. Definitely get Demolitions Expert last. If you're playing in Hardcore, um, take Board in the Shadows first, um, then Pyro. Bomb Specialist is really nice. I, I went Pyro, Bomb, Born in the Shadows. Um, but it's really good because you get the Mind Throwing Speed and the Increased Mind Detonation Speed. You do notice it, and you do get some damage and some uh, Throwing Speed in here. You also get some 
movement speed there, and some movement speed there. It's just kind of nice. But anyway, came along. I went trickery. I went through any focus into saboteur because I went non crit to start. I didn't go crit until um, cruel lavish. Um, at that point, I grabbed Cold Heart Calculation, came back, grabbed Blood Siphon. Um, at this point, I thought, sod it, let's just go full mines. Then I raced along here, um, picked up this full wheel. I then skipped this, got the life, skipped this, skipped this, uh, got Clever Construction, skipped these nodes, came down, got Acro Phase Acro. Once I got an Acro Phase Acro, I then came along to Efficient Explosives. At that point, I was like, I need some life nodes. So then I filled in uh, the Blood Drinker cluster. I got Revenge of the Hunted. Um, if you need more life, you can get more life. Uh, from here, I grabbed Charisma. Then I came down, grabbed Primal Spirit, Heart of Oak. I got this extra mana node because it does have the increased flask effect on it. And now, as I said, traveling over to grab this. Once I've grabbed this Scion life, I'll grab this life, this life, this life. Then I'll grab Arcane Chemistry and... Um, then I'll probably come along and grab these nodes, which they're still good nodes, but this node doesn't really do anything for me, so I'm just delaying it as long as I can. When I get good jewels, I'll then take my one point and my two point jewels there and there. So, uh, links and everything, as you can see, I've got a handy little list to the side there. Um, Icicle Mines, amazing. Far better than the other two mine options. Just, it, it's better. The other two hurt my face. Um, Pierce, you run Pierce Support Gem. You can take Pierce on the tree. I'm trying to save as many skull nodes as possible. You could anoint Pierce onto your amulet. Um, you can see if you hover over any node, it actually tells you what you need. It's very handy. So you could save up those three oils and then you could shove it on an amulet. I went for diamond skin. Uh, diamond skin is very easy to get. You can um, collect these oils very early into the game and it just gives you some all resin some moon speed. Very good for day one start of league, especially since I'm in SSF. Um, but otherwise just use the gem uh, use either minefield or um, Swift assembly I f Find swift as assembly more fun, but I think minefield is probably better. There might be a world where you use both I'm not entirely sure um, Minefield feels really rough until you get charge mines. So charge mines is how you generate frenzy charges um, and it gives you 10% mind throwing speed per frenzy charge. It also means that if you stick with this in your end game setup, you're probably going to, want to invest into frenzy charges at some point um, because mind throwing speed is huge. And also you'll want mind throwing speed on one of your jewels. Um, that's the four link. At that point, any other support is just whatever damage you want. You could go for trap and mind damage. I don't like it because it has reduced mind throwing speed on there. You could go for control destruction. You could go for um, cold penetration. You could go for hyperthermis since everything is chilled. You could go for ice bite if you do end up going for a full like frenzy invested tree. You could go for crit strikes, but you don't need it because of how um, icicle mines work. So it gives um, up to 500% increased critical strike. Um, and then you've got like the aura effects, which will scale that up. And then I get some aura effects um, in here as well, which will all get scaled up. To summarize though, Icicle Mines feels great. Blight is a pretty cool league. Um, I'm not sure how much it will hold my attention since my build can ignore the towers completely. I feel like once I get to the higher tiers of maps, maybe the pure blighted maps, when hopefully then the towers matter. I think there will be a serious issue this league where the because the mobs don't target you the towers feel completely meaningless if you have a good build and then people who don't have a like tier one build feel really crippled so it's going to be a bit of an awkward like balancing league but again this is way too early to really say on that kind of thing we will see how that all goes and um expect the next update to come in about 12 to 24 hours from now well 24 hours because i'm about to go pass out so yeah I'm Taki, have a wonderful day, and I need to fill an extra 20 seconds. Banditos, what are the bandits, Taki? I went Alira for the resists and the mana regen. Uh, you could also go skill points. Um, I'm probably going to try and drop clarity. Um, well, I know I'm going to try and drop clarity as soon as I can. 
I'm hoping that by the time I've got um, arcane chemistry and a little bit more gear, I can always be throwing stuff out and it feels okay. Like right now, you can see that'd be a bit rough. So if I had like grace on, sorry, that's not what I want to do. Um, I'm planning on doing a 50% aura and then skitterbots. So let's say I run grace. Um, if you didn't want to run grace, I probably will run grace because I have a lot of evasion scaling. Because we have evasion, evasion, and then all that evasion. Um, but you could alternatively run hatred, zealotry, hatred or zealotry. Um, so with all my minds out, I go down to 27 mana, which is pretty rough. Detonate them all. To be honest. That's pretty smooth. Yeah, I can probably drop the clarity now, and that's because I've got a bunch of flat mana regen. Um, it'd be nice if it's a bit boosted, because keep in mind there's going to be stuff like low regen maps and stuff like that. I think once I've gotten these two nodes and a couple more levels, I should be good. I should be good. But um, we shall see. But yes. I'll catch you all on the next update. I'll let you know how it's going. Links to everything will be down below. Bye-bye.